अस्तुतर सेवतात्मा हिमालयो नाम गाधिराज पूर्वापरौ तोयनिधिवगाह्य स्थित पृथिव्या इव मानदंड विफिनिश्ड विद दि 41st श्लोका लताग्रह द्वारा गतोथ नंदी वाम प्रकोष्ठार्पित हेमवेत्र मुखार्पित एकांगुलि संज्ञया एव मा चापलाय इति गणान व्यनैषित so nandi was standing in the uh, at the door he was standing at the entrance uh, where shiva was uh, doing meditation so lata agraha dwara gataha lata agraham tu atra shivasya um, uh, uh, tapasthanam so that is a, a grower like a creeper place where it is uh, the place for him to do tapas and nandi was standing there vama prakoshta arpita hema vetra he usually has a staff in his hand and he has now placed it in the side because he doesn't want to use the staff against the uh, bhutaganas so he is having it on his side vama prakoshta arpita hema vetra mukharpita ekanguli samvyaya places one finger that is the tarjani to threaten as if you know he places it but does not use words samgnyaya eva with just the gesture ma chapalaya iti ganan vyanaishit he brought them under control he brought all the bhutaganas under control as if to say don't do any uh, uh, you know mischief here you are in the presence of shiva and you will have to maintain some discipline everybody else can you know the spring can affect everybody else but not the principal ganas of uh, shiva okay. now <clears throat> when nandi gave this sort of a gesture or when he showed uh, uh, his uh, intention what happened to the entire kananam there what happened to the forest so he describes the forest in the next shloka nishkampa vriksham nibhrita dvirepham mukandajam shanta mrigapracharam tachasana kananame eva sarvam chitrarpitaranyam iva avatasthe this is a very similar uh, verse you will find very similar line the last line is there in uh, raghuvamsha also chitrarpitaram bhaivavataste iti the same thing when um, dilipa was about to hit the um, uh, simha the the lion is actually a, a parichara paricharaka of uh, shiva and he is protecting that devadaru he catches hold of nandini and uh, 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 dilipa was ready to fight with the lion there and so when he was about to take his bow uh, the lion stopped the whole uh, uh, action and he tied him in that position so through magic so it was as if he was drawn in a picture so even here nandi the moment he said ma cha ma chapalaya or he didn't say he just showed the samgnya he kept his finger on his mouth and he just said Shh, right probably didn't even make that sound so the entire all the trees were quiet nishkampa vriksham vrikshaha yatra nishkampah asan all of the trees were without any kampa without even a slight tremor they were quiet next is nibhrita dvirepam you understand how bees are uh, constantly moving around and making sounds whereas here it has become silent also nibhrita dvirepam nibhrita also means secret it's as if you can't find it at all it is uh, uh, completely in silence here all the bees have also stopped moving nibhrita dvirepam muka andajam andate ye jayante all the creatures that come from anda that is pakshi or sarpadikam whichever has a birth through a, uh, an egg so anda jam sarvam mukam jatam there was no noise from them also muka here is it was as if they were dumb they cannot uh, speak they were um, you know uh, challenged in that manner so here completely it was because he they followed nandi's uh, uh, orders here शांत मृग प्रचार मृगाना प्रचार सचार भ्रमण तो तत्र शांत अभूत इट बिकेम कंप्लीटली क्वाइट एंड नन ऑफ द डियर और एनी अदर मैमल्स वेर ऑल्सो मूविंग अराउंड so you understand why he only gives these four types of uh, uh, things right so one is उद्भिज the other is स्वेदज 
the third is andaja and the fourth one is jarayuja these are the four types of living being in this world so there are classes four classes of utpatti for uh, the uh, living beings that you find in this world so one is udbhija udbhija is that which breaks from the uh, earth and comes out from a bijam it just breaks out opens out and grows that is a tree shrub etc that which comes out of a seed and it just breaks open so nib uh, uh, that is brikshadi this is called udbhija the next one is swedaja vyakhyata also gives the details here swedaja is more that which comes from sweating or born from moisture so it is krimi kitadi any uh, starting from worm or insects any anything next is andajam first it is born as an egg and then it is born out of that egg this is andaja when you talk of mriga pracharam mriga hatu jarayuja jarayu ityukte it's like the placenta so that which comes out of a placenta uh, which are mammals usually they are born out of another mammal so that is jarayuja all four kinds of uh um uh, bhutarashis that are present in the uh, area have completely become quiet tatshasanat tasya shasanat by the orders of nandi kananameva sarvam the entire forest it was as if chitrarpita aranyam iva avatasthe chitra arpita aranyam it was like a painted forest chitre arpitam a forest that has been put on the, on a canvas it eva avatasthe it was as if it stood as if it was painted on a canvas here so that was the effect of parameshwara and that was the effect of nandi also on everything around him so we'll just go over the words here evam gana vinayana deva chaturvidhasya api bhuta gramasya vinayaha jataha because he wanted to only bring the bhutaganas under control it was not only the bhutaganas which came under control everything else also so bhutaganas are actually they are a class of being uh, uh, say higher uh, in status than all of these right that is mostly to do with gnanam and bhakti they ca- they can acquire more knowledge in a better manner than any of the other beings here so if, if even they were brought under control what to say of all of these things right they naturally were under the control of nandi's effect so gana vinayanath by trying to bring the bring a control in the among the bhutaganas chaturvidhasya api bhutagramasya gramam atra samuha so the entire host of living beings which are split into four classifications tesham api vinayaha jatah vinayaha atra don't take it as humility but it is more like they were also brought under control here by nandi so, uh, because of the sudden advent of spring manmatha came there and thalagal uh, puriyada abre they were all running around they didn't know what to do here right so parameshwara dwarapalasya nandinah prabhava atishayam ah so it shows the greatness of uh, nandi himself so next only you can go inside and see how shiva would be if even nandi's effect is so much on the entire forest so what to say of shiva so tatshasanat kananam sarvam eva chitrarpita aranyam iva avatasthe tatshasanat tasya nandinah shasanat by the orders of nandi kananam vanam that forest sarvam eva natu bhuta gana mat from not only just the shivaganas napi kanana avasthita jana matram not only those people who were staying there in that kananam like siddha purushaha kinnaraha ityadi not only them but everything else also kananam sarvam including the trees and all of the little insects that were there chitrarpita aranyam chitre arpitam likhitam aranyam vanam iva avasthitam aasit so it was as if the entire forest was painted on a chitram on a painting on a canvas atra jarayuja andaja swedaja udbhija bhedena chaturvidheshu bhutagrameshu 
There are four types of Bhuta Grama, Bhuta Samoham, that is living beings, Praninaha to Chaturvidhaha Vartante. Katham Udbhijjadi nam tachasana anushthanasya vismaya karatvat prathamam tat prakaraha. The trees don't have, they, they just live. They don't have any control over what they do. Wind blows, they shake. That's it. There is, but even they were quiet. So that is the most surprising thing. See, we are present with some sort of an intelligence. We can understand the moment someone gives a command, we are forced to follow or not follow, something like that. But uh, uh, for a tree to just be nishkampa vriksham, for a tree to be without any even a tremor, the prabhavam of Nandi is seen here. So it, that's a very surprising thing to happen. So nishkampa vriksham, nishkampaha nishchalaha vrikshaha. Even the trees are not moving. Vrikshaha api tadanim achanchalaha jataha. Atha vrikshadi apekshaya kinchit adhika jnana nam. Next he goes to Swedaja. So vrikshadapi vrikshadi apekshaya. With respect to vriksha trees, you find that the uh, uh, insects, the Swedaja, that which are born out of moisture has a more uh, adhika jnanam. It has more intelligence. So adhika jnananam swedajanam. Now what happens to them? Nibhrita dvirepam. They also come under his control. Tachasana anushtana prakaram. They also follow his orders here. Nibhrita dvirepam nischalaha. Again nibhrita means nischala. Dvirepa is brahmaraha. Even the bees are without any movement here. Brahmaraha api svabhavikam brahmanashilatvam tatyajuhu. It is a natural state for them to keep moving around constantly. Even on a flower when they get madhu, they don't stay there for a long time. Right? They keep moving from one flower to another. It is a natural state for them. Even that natural state they were able to let go. Atra virepanam svedajatvam so where is it? He gives an Amarakosha uh, reference here to say Swedajaha Krimi Damshadhyaha. Krimi is uh, any ketum, worm, uh, germs that comes from sweat or moisture. When there is a humidity there, these are born. So Damsha is uh, our insects here. So Swedaja Apekshaya. Now he goes down to the next category, which is Andaja. Swedaja apekshaya andajanam jnana adhikyat anantaram tesham nandi niyoga avasthitim aha. Andaja, those which have come out of a, uh, an egg, like either uh, uh, birds or serpents, reptiles, all of these that come out of an egg, hatch out of an egg, these have a better intelligence than Swedaja or Udbhija. They too, Mukaha, Mukaha, Nishabdaha, no sound comes out of these birds. Imagine birds are by natural, they keep making some sound or the other if they are present, right? And they have also become completely quiet here. Atha, Jarayujaha api, Tan niyogaha, Tan niyoge eva sthitaha. They are also following Nandi's uh, orders. Shanta mriga pracharaha, Shantaha. Mriganam harinadinam pracharaha sancharaha. Bhuta gramanam eva meva chaturvidhatvam uktam bojarajena. So Bojaraja has given this category of divisions for all of these living beings in the form of a shloka. He says, I think it is there in, uh, he has written a nighantu and it is present in his uh, text. Udbhijjaha vriksha gulmadhyaha. Gulma is a like creeper or bush, shrub. So trees and shrubs fall under the category of udbhijja. Pakshi sarpadayaha andajaha. Swedajaha krimi damshadhyaha. Nr mrigadhyaha jarayujaha. So those which come under the category of jarayuja are nr manushya, mriga and animals. So both animals and people come under the category of jarayuja. Atra Abhipraya Vedinam Tachasana Avasthanam Kaimutika Nyayat Avagatam Ityapekshitam Iti Avaseyam. 
So those who understand Abhipraya Vedina, one who can uh, uh, suggest are something which everybody cannot understand. You know, this is like playing Damsharads between teams. They will have codes, you know. If I say uh, this, change the language and say, and Madhala, they used to have codes between them. So if you understand such gestures, then fine. You, If you understand what Nandi was saying, then okay. Abhipraya Vedinam Tachasana Avasthanam. So they will immediately follow his orders. But then what to do about trees and insects who, who cannot follow that? But Kaimudika Nyayatu Avagatam. So we are, uh, if even the trees and insects and birds and animals follow his directions, what to say of people who follow his, who understand his Abhiprayam, who can uh, follow that code word that Nandi is saying here, right? So Iti Avaseyam Upamaya Nishkampatva Di Atishayaha Pratipaditaha Iti Maheshwara Prabhavaha Anena Shlokena Darshitaha. So because of Maheshwara, Ishwara's Prabhavam, uh, uh, it's as if it has been put on a painting that Upama here um, shows that they were completely not moving at all. Not moving can be, you know, when somebody is not looking, you can move and then stop. There is a game like that, right? It can also mean something like that, but it's not. And Visheshayana, Atishayena, Tatra, Sarve Api Nishkampaha, Asaniti. That's the idea here. Okay. Uh, any doubts? Nishkampa Vriksham. Nishkampa Vriksham, Nibhrita Dvirepham. Mukandajam Shantam Rukap Pracharam Tachasana Kananame Vasarvam Chitrar Pitaranyam Iva Avatasthi Punaha Tatra Nibrita Itikim Nibritaha Iti Atra uh, Nishalaha Iti. Usually Nibritana uh, Rahasi Itiapir Asti Atta uh, Servant uh, Nibritana Servant Tilie. No, Nibritaha iti it's an adjective for uh, Brahmaraha. Oh, Nibritaha Brahmaraha. Brudatu, why be for Nibruta Dina? Bru Baranam, Brudato Hokta Pratea. But usually brew not to bear it. Ah, Nivarche, the married or the Nischella. Nishchala, oh. Actually, when you take the meaning as secret, it means there is no hmm. movement there, nobody is present. It is as if they are in secret. They're, they are hidden. Oh. You can take it as guhitaha iti. Gudhaha. Nishchala. Gudhaha. Evam, evam. Makes more sense. Puna, puna, kaimutika nyaya nama katam. Ha, kaimutika iti kimuta na kekaron liya. What to say of? Is the Kaimutika Nyayam. So Kimuta, if, uh, what else? Uh, what, what, what to say of people who understand his gesture? If even uh, birds and animals and trees which which don't have their actions under control, they just be. If Yetu Tesham to Chalanam Swabhavikam Vartate, Tesham Abhipra they too, they don't have that extra knowledge to understand that Nandi is making this gesture and we have to be quiet. Even they are quiet. Then what to say of people who can understand such gestures? So you think alankara rupe na kima piva? Kahimuti ka nyaya na itute tatra. It is only understood as an artha pati. You get that meaning. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but no specific so, alankara. So to speak. I, you can say it is. A, 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 I would say there is more of a dhvani here than. Uh, you know, a dhvani of arthapati, or you can just say mm. there is a dhvani of abhipraya vedinam tu visheshena tatra uh, tachasana avasthanam tu uh, astieva iti. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, 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 got it. Yeah. Uh, I would prefer that this the dhvani here be Nandi's prabhava or uh, Ishwara prabhavaha tatra dhvanyate is more uh, appropriate than this. Right? Okay. Uh, atra uh, uh, yeah. Nishkampa Vriksham Nibhrita Dvirepam Sarvam Aranyasya Visheshanam. Um, uh, Kananam, oh. yes. 
kananam eva sarvam kananam nishkampa vriksham yes tat shasanat nishkampa vriksham nivrita dvirepam mukandajam shantamarga pracharam sarvam kananam eva chitra arpitha aranyam eva avatasthe it stood it was present as if okay yeah, kananam correct yes bahubrihi okay samme okay next one is drishti pratipam athava drishti prapatam ityasti mallinathe so we will see drishti pratipam parihritya tasya kama purush shukram iva prayane pranteshu samsakta nameru shakham dhyanaspadam bhutapateru vivesha man matha enters the dhyana aspadam the meditating meditation place uh, of uh, bhutapati bhutapati is the bhutaganas uh, pati which is ishvara shiva so bhutapate he dhyana aspadam he enters the uh, place of uh, uh, shiva but he doesn't go directly puraha shukram prayane puraha shukram iva drishti prata prapatam athava drishti pratipam parihritya both are similar drishti prapatam is that he should not fall on the side of uh, shiva he should not uh, come within the range of his sight here drishti pratipam is abhimukyam he did not want to go directly in front of his eyesight so drishti pratipam parihritya it's like directly falling into fire here if he goes to and see shiva in front of him so drishti pratipam parihritya completely avoiding his uh, 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 direct sight uh, kamaha manmatha pranteshu he goes to the sides prantam is actually the corners or the border pranteshu samsakta nameru shakham vivesha so he enters the dhyana aspadam the meditation place which has a lot of shakha branches of the nameru tree samsakta which had a lot of nameru trees in it samsaktam ityukte um, present tatra there are a lot of Uh, nameru trees nameru tree ingirudhu vandu it's a kind of tree if you google search you will find that the branches are all uh, uh, coming down up to the ground actually to cover that entire place so he can be well hidden that's the idea so samsakta nameru shakham dhyana aspadam kamaha drishti pratipam parihritya after avoiding his direct eyesight direct uh, uh, range tasya iti bhutapatehe he tasya bhutapate he dhyanaspadam pranteshu vivesha he entered uh, from the sides from the corners actually instead of going straight there through the entrance so it's like a thief right so you you try to get inside the, through the sideways or the back door entrance purush shukram iva prayane this is an interesting thing where if uh, shukra you never go uh, towards the direction of venus wherever venus is you try to avoid when you start on a long journey uh, shukra is supposed to uh, in jyotisham uh, you never uh, uh, start your journey towards the idiva uh, north than therila i don't know if it's north or south but you never go where uh, venus is shining bright so prayane when you are about to embark on a journey it's like having uh, it's like avoiding venus shining directly in front of you and you try to go and then go into that direction go somewhere else and try to go there go over the vyakhyana atha prakritam now the context comes in see the entrance of the door is such that nandi is standing there he is showing a sign and asking all of the bhutaganas to keep quiet the entire forest has become quiet which means manmatha understands that he has entered that place that is he has come to the vicinity of parameshwara's uh, uh, dhyana uh, griham right so now that he has entered that vicinity and he sees that his effect is no longer there it is only parameshwara's effect which is there in that forest or nandi's effect through parameshwara is seen in the forest place where he has now entered so he knows he must be very close to the place here so that is the context now so now he com- comes to the context and describes manmatha's entry into that place madanasya 
ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಭಂಗ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರಂ ಏವ ಅನುಸಂಧತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಯುರ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯುರ್ ದಟ್ ಈ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಭಂಗ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರಂ ಅನುಸಂಧತ್ತೆ ಹಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಮಃ ಪ್ರಯಾಣೆ ಪುರಶುಕ್ರಂ ಇವ ತಸ್ಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರತೀಪಂ ಪರಿಹೃತ್ಯ ಭೂತಪತೇ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆಸ್ಪದಂ ವಿವೇಶ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈನ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯರ್ ಸೊ ಕಾಮಃ ಕಾಮದೇವ ಮನ್ಮಥ ಪ್ರಯಾಣೆ ಯಾತ್ರಾಂ ಪುರೋಭಾಗಸ್ಥಿತ ಶುಕ್ರಂ ಇವ ತಸ್ಯ ಹರಸ್ಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರತೀಪಂ ಪರಿಹೃತ್ಯ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ವೀನಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಜರ್ನಿ In the same manner, tasya harasya drishti pratipam, pratipaha atra abhimukyam, facing his eyesight. He avoided it completely, parityak, parihritya, tyaktva, bhutapatehe, girishasya, parameshwarasya, so bhuteshaha atra khanda parashuhu ityamaraha. ಖಂಡ ಪರಶುಹು ನ ಹೀಸ್ ಹೀಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಪರಶು ಫಾರ್ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ಶಿವಾಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಧ್ಯಾನಾರ್ಥಂ ಆಸ್ಪದಂ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆಸ್ಪದಂ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪದಂ ಸ್ಥಾನಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲತಾಗೃಹಂ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆಸ್ಪದಂ ಆಸ್ ಲತಾಗೃಹಂ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಲತಾಗೃಹ ದ್ವಾರ ಗತ ನಂದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಲತಾಗೃಹಂ ವಿವೇಶ ಹಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರವಿಷ್ಟ ಅಭೂತ್ ಪ್ರಯಾಣೆ ಹಿ ಪುರ ಶುಕ್ರ ಪ್ರತಿಷಿದ್ಧ ಮುಹೂರ್ತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಮುಹೂರ್ತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷೆ ಅಥವಾ ಮೌಹೂರ್ತಿಕ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ತಾದೃಶ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪುರ ಶುಕ್ರ ಪ್ರತಿಷಿದ್ಧ ಶುಕ್ರ ವೀನಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುರ ಪುರತ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಚೇತ್ ತತ್ರ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ನಿಷಿದ್ಧ ಸೊ ಆಗ್ನೇಯ ತಾರಕ ಸಾಭಿಜಿತ್ ಪ್ರಾಗಾದ್ಯಾಸಂಸ್ಥಿತ ಸಪ್ತ ಸಪ್ತ ಯಸ್ಯಾಂ ತಿಷ್ಟೇತ್ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ದಿಶ್ಯ ದಿಶಿ ಅಮುಷ್ಯಾಂ ಯಾತ್ರಾಂ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಾಣಮಾನ ಅರ್ಥ ಹಂತ್ರಿ ಹಿಂಗೇರ್ ನಿಂದ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೊಟೇಶನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು I'll try to explain as much as possible. This is something beyond my, this thing. I have no clue of Muhurta Shastram, that is Jyotisham or anything. So, Agneyadhyaha Tarakaha Sabhijitkaha Abhijit Muhurtam is a particular Muhurtam where, uh, you know, uh, doshas are not present. So, I think Agneya Nakshatra might be a particular kind of... Uh, Uh, nakshatras which have that agni sambandham so those nakshatras sa abhijit kaha usually abhijit muhurtam is a particular muhurta in the afternoon uh, when you take the indian standard time where the sunrise and the sunset are almost similar there are not much of difference whereas if you come to the us the sunrise and sunrise sunset are so different that you have to your rahu kalam and everything will be so uh, uh, awkward here to decide you can't you quickly find out so this abhijit muhurtam is also present here but then in india it's much easier because it is a muhurtam between 12 and 130 it's a very it's every day any day you don't need to check for rahu kalam or uh, uh, yamagandam or anything so that 12 to 130 is called abhijit muhurtam anything any work done during that afternoon time is supposed to be very successful at that point of time so you don't see any taraka or any muhurtam uh, shakunam ityadikam dosham there is no dosha for that time another time is godhuli muhurta which is both in the morning and evening before your rahu kalam starts so which is the before the sunrise sorry that is brahmi muhurtam ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮ ಮುಹೂರ್ತಂ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗೋಧೂಳಿ ಮುಹೂರ್ತಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್
she's the godhuli muhurtam adu enna na onnu illa in those days because cows are considered to be very sacred when they left the uh, uh, gramam for um ha huh, yeah <laughs> so when they left the gramam they when they le- when the cows go out for grazing and when they come back for grazing there is so much of g- dust that is uh, uh, coming so that go dhooli if it, it if it falls on you it is supposed to purify you of your papam so that go dhooli muhurtam is also a very very special muhurtam where any work done there is no shuddha there is no uh, dosham for it Uh, uh, it is not dushyam so you there is always a shuddhata for those three muhurtams so here probably he is talking about that abhijit muhurtam which is in the afternoon even uh, you know marriages wedding and all if they, they couldn't they can't find any particular day within uh, uh, within that time when the bride visits or the groom visits and they have to finish that marriage between that particular 10 days then they do it in abhijit muhurtam on any day it doesn't matter so prag adi pragaadi aasha samsthitaha sapta sapta so there are probably seven uh, 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 nakshatras uh, when pragaadi aasha ha would mean prak uh, is the totally there are eight directions right all these other seven directions are fine except for one particular di- direction which is yasyam dishi ತಿಷ್ಟೇತ್ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ಇಸ್ ಶುಕ್ರ ಶುಕ್ರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಭೃಗುವಂಶೇ ಜಾತ ಸೊ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ಇಸ್ ಶುಕ್ರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಎನದರ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ವೀನಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಸೊ ಯಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ದಿಶಿ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎವರ್ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಶುಕ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ವೀನಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಮುಷ್ಯಾಂ ಯಾತ್ರಾಂ ಪುಂಸ್ ಇವ್ ಇವ್ ಯಾತ್ರ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಜರ್ನಿ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಮಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಇಟ್ ಆಯುಷ್ಕರಂ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾನಂ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಹ್ಯುಮಿಲಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಹಂತ್ರಿ ಸಮ್ ಹೈವೇ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ದೇ ಗೇವ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಆಗ್ನೇಯಾದ್ಯ ತಾರಕ ಸಾಭಿಜಿತ್ ಪ್ರಾಗಾದಿ ಆಶಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತ ಸಪ್ತ ಸಪ್ತ ಯಾಂ ತಿಷ್ಠೇತ್ ದಿಶಿ ಅಮುಷ್ಯಾಂ ಯಾತ್ರ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಮಾನ ಅರ್ಥ ಹಂತ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಯಥ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ಉದ್ಯುಕ್ತ ಜನ ಪುರೋಭಾಗಸ್ಥಿತ ಶುಕ್ರ ವರ್ಜಯಿತ್ವ ಗಚ್ಛಂತಿ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಶುಕ್ರ ಇಫ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ತಥಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಅಸೌ ಅಪಿ ಮನ್ಮಥ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹರಸ್ಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪರಿಹೃತ್ಯ he completely uh, uh, avoids uh, uh, hara's drishti margam the path of his sight and gatavan he went but where did he go yatha atmanam haraha na pasyet tatha jagama just as how shiva will not look at manmatha tatha he went in that manner so anena drishti marga parihara kathanena kamasya hara sannidhya pratihata shaktitvam suchitam so what do we understand by this uh, phrase here that he says he doesn't go in front of shiva at all that is if he was present in front of shiva drishti marga parihara kathanena by saying that he avoided uh, shiva's drishti it means that kama knew his shakti would be obstructed pratihata shakti in the presence of hara in the presence of shiva so he he won't be able to do anything in the presence of shiva shiva that is why he had to stand on the side he could at least connect his bow to the uh, his arrow to the bow even before he could let go of the arrow he was destroyed because he was on the side and shiva did not expect that so he could at least perform until that portion that's all hmm? so, so he is hinting that uh, shiva's drishti has that shakti so it's like a yeah. four body absolutely so like hinting about he's hinting that uh, the shakti yeah so, in the next he will say asanna sharira pataha adu vera he will go to the extent of saying one who is going to die soon 
ಪರಿಹಾರ ಅಭಾವೆ ವಿನಾಶ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ just as if you don't avoid venus and you just go in front of shukra then vinasha nischaya there is a definite destruction for you tathaiva in the same manner uh, tathaiva asyapi even for manmatha etad abhimukha prayane api abhut so definitely because he even thought of approaching shiva here it is going to happen for him it became like that hmm? Uh, he got destroyed. So, Atma Nigohana Upayaha Api Daiva Vashatu Tatra Tasya Asitu. So, how did he go? There was a chance for him to hide himself and go there also. Daiva Vashatu. By chance, these, these things had to happen. So, by chance, there were these trees which were falling until the ground and he could go hidden. Right? So, Pranteshu ಪರಿಸರೇಶು ಇನ್ ದ ಸರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ಸಂಸಕ್ತ ಸಂಶ್ಲಿಷ್ಟ ವೆರಿ ಥಿಕ್ ನಮೇರು ಶಾಖ ನಮೇರು ಇಸ್ ಸುರ ಪುನ್ನಾಗ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಶಾಖ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಥಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಹೈಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಕ್ಷಿತಿತಲ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ನಿರಂತರ ಆಶ್ಲಿಷ್ಟ ನಮೇರು ವಿಟಪತ್ವಾತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಶಾಖ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಭೂಮಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದಟ್ ತತ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಮಾರ್ಗ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಸೌಕರ್ಯ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಕುಡ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಶಿವಾಸ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರತೀಪಂ ಪರಿಹೃತ್ಯ ತಮ ಪುರಶುಕ್ರಮಿವ ಪ್ರಯಾಣೆ ಪ್ರಾಂತೇಶು ಸಂಸಕ್ತ ನಮೇರು ಶಾಖಂ ಧ್ಯಾನಾಸ್ಪದ ಭೂತಪತೇರ್ ವಿವೇಶ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ 